I said, what is this? He said, this is freedom, freedom circle. He said, anybody that, that can get off 12 inches off the ground can, can say whatever's on their mind. Man, I'd sure like to preach right now. And my buddy goes, yeah, I'd like to preach too. And uh, one of the guys said, well, get up up on the rubbish can. Get up up on the rubbish can. I said, the rubbish can. And he points over there, and I see a garbage can. And it was a garbage can bigger than that. <laughs> and this is where all the trans, uh, you know, all the, the buses are going back and forth, and it's right beside it. And so he gets up there first, and I take his picture, you know, and he starts preaching to all these people. There's at least two, 3,000 people. And then I get up on the garbage can, and I start preaching to two or 3,000 people that are in London. And I'm going, I'm sure, and you know, this city, it's a beautiful city. And I tell you, it's like a, it's like a whore, amen. Uh, she'll invite you to the bed, amen, and say, I'll give you a good time. Uh, but in the, I said, uh, as soon as she's through with you, she'll kick you out of the bed when you ain't got no more money, and she'll kick you out the bed. Give you some kind of disease. And I started talking, preaching about Jesus. The Lord never treats you like that. He loves you. Protect you, keep you. Put his arms around you. Ain't nobody gonna love you like Jesus. Amen. Ain't nobody Amen. gonna love you like Jesus. Amen. There ain't no mates that's gonna love you like Jesus. Amen. There ain't no child that's gonna love you like Jesus. I tell you, Jesus will love you more, amen, Amen. Than your own family. Amen. 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 We start doing some more sightseeing and we went in this we went in this one uh, graveyard and there was a church right beside it. They had all the witches and had some of the saints. They buried them both at the same time there because they were considered heretics at the time. And we looked at the church and said, no, I'd like to get in that church. And the groundkeeper was there. He said, well, it's closed. So, boys, uh, you, you, you know, tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. I said, well, our plane is leaving. We can't get in. You know. And the guy said, well, he says, do you really want to see the church? I said, man, we are Christians. And we love Christian history. We would love to go inside this church. Bill. He says, I got the keys. Let's go in. And he took us in for a private tour. We got inside, got a chance to look at the pulpit, and it circled around, went all the way to five, five minutes. I said, man, it's beautiful. We went back to Salvatore, and man, we were... And I said, man, this is nice. We went back to the hotel, and all the brethren are there. I said, I know where Spurgeon's church is. I said, I found out. That guy from the gatekeeper told us what it was. I said, we're going to go check it out. They said, it ain't open. All the brethren are there, you know, all my fellow brethren. It ain't, it ain't open. They're closed today, you know, it's Saturday. I said, man, don't tell me that. I know the guy with the keys, all right? So we get there, sure enough, they're having a teen revival. Church is wide open. And I told my buddy, I said, been with me all day, Brother Steve. I said, let's just go upstairs. Let's just go upstairs. Pretend like we belong to the church. So we just walked up, went all the way up, and then some of we got caught up there. He said, what are you guys doing? I said, well, we're here just look around. We're, you know, tourists and want to see the building. And, you know, we've heard so much about this church and all the people that got saved, all the people right underneath the basement and so forth and, and we won't check it out he says well come back tomorrow it'll be open I said well we can't complain you know I told him same stuff plane's leaving tomorrow he said do you really want to see the church I said no we really want to see the church he said well I ain't got no key he said but I'm going to back away <laughs> so he took us to the back of the church all the way through this I mean we went through like a maze we got inside the church, got a chance to look around. Nothing is impossible with God. Amen. Nothing. Amen. If God tells you, Amen. that's your Amen. Amen. You can have it. All you got to do is fight for it. Amen. Amen. That's your mouth. Thank God, sir. Yeah. Amen. I always want a church right here. I can let it. You know what God said? You can have it. 
Will they be enemies? Will there be people that don't want this church to be here? Absolutely. You know what we're going to do? We're going to stick it out. Amen. We're going to stick it out, amen? amen. We're going to stick it out and pull out our guns and we're going to fire, amen, amen, on the firing line and we're just going to keep firing until we take, amen, what belongs and what God has promised us. I'd like some other folks to get to heaven when I get there. Amen. Amen. I'd like to see some more of my friends, some more of my family get up there, some more Amen. of my neighbors. Amen. Amen. What about you? Amen. Yeah. You a wimp? Is that what you are? Cry all night? It's too hard being a Christian. It's just too hard. I can't help it. Is that you? Why don't you man up? Why don't you just man up? Amen.